All right, so we're we're at the Pruitt Trailhead, 15430 Southwest 484. Uh, for people in Central Florida, um, you just come straight out 484, past 75, then past 200. Just keep going straight. It's a bit of a ways down in here, and eventually you'll get to the uh, the entrance here. It's uh, you can kind of see. Uh, you know, here's 484. The snowbirds are back in town, and uh, I'm hoping I won't get wet today. It's uh, it's kind of a cool day. Uh, you know, once again, I'm still preparing for winter here in Florida, and I don't have a sweatshirt with me. But uh, it's a, it's above 70, and you know, when you're used to 100 degrees, <laughs> it actually feels cold to me today. But this is part of the Florida Trail, and uh, I was going to go biking today. But you know what? I, I, I just want to get back on the Florida Trail. We, we've only done about four or 500 miles, and we're going to do all 1,400 miles, uh, especially now that the old ball and chain has moved out of the house, so I can kind of venture out. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get going on the trail. So I wanted to get this on the video. I don't want to get any faces or anything, but uh, we got some people stuck over here and there's nothing I can do about it with the Toyota Prius Prime, but I met two young people. And the first thing he said is it looks like they're stuck. I got to go help them. And you know, I, I tell you that the human spirit, the, the Florida, Florida man or Florida woman, uh, we got some great people here, and uh, I was just just happy that he's he's going to try to pull them out. And uh, but we're just going to get on the hike, and uh, you know here at the Pruitt Trailhead, you know I always <laughs> I'm all about the bathrooms, you know. So they do have the portage on here. Uh, so uh, we're going to get on the trail in just a second, but uh, and I and I've made a video in the past about this, but. Uh, Always good to uh, to get it on the video. Boy, I tell you, there was like a zero, well, maybe 20% chance of rain, and it's already sprinkling on me, but, and I didn't bring a sweatshirt. Um, so, human hands change the land, and Molly used to hear you encounter some rugged terrain. It's a leftover from the ship canal, and we've talked about the ship canal, and uh, uh, we don't need to, to look at all of that. But you see, we do have a picnic table here, and uh, it looks like I'm just gonna get wet today. I I, you know, it's just, it's just the nature of the beast, but uh, look at this, man. I mean, <laughs> these trees here in Florida, oh man, the thing came loose. Uh, trees here in Florida are something else, aren't they? So let's, uh, let's get on the trail and uh, I'll get some video when we get out there. Um, should be a heck of a day. Uh, I'm a little bit chilled. It's, uh, it's 75. I know that I know that people up north, they're saying 75 degrees and you're, you're cold. I'm cold as hell. <laughs> I'm used to all the humidity and the heat, you know, and uh, coming out here just to do this. But we're going to we're going to go in about an hour and then come back out about an hour. Uh, so I don't know if we'll knock out the Florida Trail all the way up to the point where I was coming from the other side, which is the uh, Ross Prairie uh, area. And uh, if you recall, uh, on a previous video, I hold up right here, and uh, let's just cut the video off right there. I uh, had to go back to the car, and I, luckily I had a merino wool shirt in there, and uh, that was good, good to have. Um, so I'm not toasty warm now, uh, so I'm not a complete idiot, although I like... My wife would argue with that, or my ex-wife, or soon-to-be ex-wife, let's just put it that way. Um, so, um, but they were able to pull that uh, vehicle out, and I thought that was very nice of them. But I thought I'd just get the uh, the beginning of the trail, because I've never been here before, and this is certainly not on video. But it's looking just kind of like a road. Maybe I didn't need the walking stick, who knows. Um, a lot of horses here. This is... Uh, I guess this is more of a horse trail, though I've seen a lot of mountain bikes because uh, it is labeled as a mountain bike trail. And you could see uh, if you wanted to ride your bike here, it would be pretty good. So um, let's keep on going, uh, you know, just kind of give you the look and feel. You know, you more or less just hiking through, well, kind of a, a prairie type of uh, place. Uh, 
and uh, it's uh, I'm sure we'll get a different look here in probably another half an hour or so um, very well it was sprinkling on me and like I said the chance of rain was was very very low that's why I came all the way out here this is a bit of a haul from my house um, and this is uh, well, well we'll get into it but uh, this is you know I didn't burn any gas coming out here because I used the uh, the battery in the Prius Prime so here let's let's take a look you know I'll just get the the political commentary out of the way right here at the beginning of the video uh, you know I'm, I'm, I'm I, for the first time ever for the first time ever I'm pissed off at DeSantis you know because uh, he says he's gonna remove the gas tax because the Democrats raised the price of gas and it's hurting Floridians. Well, if you're a conservative like me, you, all right, go ahead. If you're a conservative like you, me, you prepared for that, you know? And uh, so I got the Prius Prime. By the way, that's the two young people that just rescued that, uh, that vehicle. So they're out mountain biking. And uh, anyway, um, so, you know, who's he gonna, who's he gonna help? He's gonna help all the Democrats in the state that voted for the Green New Deal. Because they're the ones that, you know, they're so stupid they wouldn't prepare for high gas prices, you know. And uh, so I'm, uh, I'm against him removing that tax because that means my taxes as a conservative are gonna go up in other places. And uh, so anyway, that's just my slant on all of that. Um, you know, you can't, and that's, that's why I tell people, you know, I, I consider myself independent. I'm registered Republican now. Um, uh, you know, I, I used and many and years ago I was registered Democrat. Can you imagine that? I wouldn't even. I, it's hard for me to even be around a Democrat. Now, well, I shouldn't call them Democrats, Marxists. It's hard for me to be around a Marxist, you know, uh, or socialist or whatever you want to call them. Um, that's that's tough. But I'm glad to see them out riding. And uh, it was funny because he was talking about that bicycle, uh, this young man up here, and. Uh, He's, uh, he's been wrenching on that thing. It was a used bike that he got. And uh, he's, he's not a big, you know, not a huge mountain biker, but uh, he's, he's getting into it. And, and I respect that. So let's just get a quick look around. Quite beautiful here. Look at this. Glad that we've preserved places like this in Florida. Um, so when we, we're probably gonna dive back into the trees and uh, we'll get another clip on the video there. Uh, so now that I got the, the political commentary out of the way, I know that people hate that on my videos. Uh, they just want to see the hike, but, uh, you know, I, part of, part of these videos is just me expressing myself, you know, and hopefully, uh, educating you about certain things. Uh, cause you know, as I, as I go through life, I'm sure many people experience the same things that I do, you know, and, uh, you know, we, we all knew high gas prices were coming. <laughs> you know, what the hell you don't take down the keystone pipeline destroy the fracking industry and end oil exploration and expect gas prices to uh stay the same you know <laughs> i mean how stupid can you be you know i mean well that's what the democrats think you know they're all for that green new deal baby all right let's keep on going so i wanted to get this on the video you know i'm of course, I'll be cleaning my shoes when I get home because all I have is tennis shoes on, but this would be tough to mountain bike. I mean, when you're coming through places like this, uh, you know, it's still pretty wet here. Uh, and it hadn't rained in a few days. Um, so, uh, you know, my, my hat's off to those kids. And I say kids, they, those, those young younger people, let's put it that way. And uh, But uh, you can see, I mean, look at the mud. But the trail's in good shape and uh, it's nice and wide. Easy hike so far. Here's, a, here's more of the, the prairie. Let's just keep on going. So I wanted to show this. I don't know whether the trails are parting ways because you were on a bicycle slash horse slash hiking trail called Tricycle. And then you got the Florida Trail sign right over here. But I don't... I don't, maybe just the trails going through here. So let's just keep on going. Um, so I'm gonna go over here cause I don't wanna hike through all this mud if I can get around it. And let's just keep going. 
So the hiking trail is parting ways from the uh, from the bicycle trail because um, we're diving back into the woods here. Um, so this is because of that. You see the orange mark on the tree there. So it's a good thing I brought the walking stick along. Um, I doubt anybody's hiked this for a while, so I'll probably in, uh, end up with a banana spider in my face. Uh, I don't think the the wood ticks are out. By the way, the temperature's going down to 40 degrees tonight, and this is Florida. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, and I, I, you know, I, I, I can't say I'm regretting having the merino wool shirt on, but uh, it is. Uh, I am getting a little warm now that I'm hiking and moving. And, uh, but you can see, I mean, this is quite beautiful. Uh, now that I'm off of that road, I mean, you know, we're on a, we're on a trail now, you know, that's a, uh, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, I, and uh, look at these trees. My God, these things are hundreds of years old. You know, thank God for well, Florida has preserved some of this stuff. Um, but it's a, it's a really, I mean, this is a, this is a nice hike, man. I'm, I'm telling you, and the trail, it's, so far, it, we're still kind of in the beginning of the hike. Uh, it looks very well maintained, um, but we're getting back. We're getting back into the forest. We may see uh, a bear or uh, some wildlife. Uh, we'll see, and uh, let's just keep on going. But, uh, boy, if you want to come out to the Pruitt Trailhead and you live in Central Florida, I mean, this is what you're going to experience. You know, this this would be a nice hike. Or is a nice hike, let's just say. I had to get this tree on the video. <laughs> and by the way, I just went through my first spider web. But look at that. Isn't that crazy? I mean, how these trees just kind of grow all over. But uh, been continuing along like this for a while. Uh, quite a nice hike, uh, other than having a spider in your face. Um, so it's a uh, good thing I brought the walking stick. I don't think you'd want to do this without a walking stick. Although... Not much up and down. It's very, very level, easy hike so far. And the trail's in great shape. So, but uh, so it's just good to be back on the Florida Trail. I, you know, we, we want to get all 1,400 miles, and I don't know if we'll get it done this year. But I'm going to try. You know, I'll be out uh, now that the old ball and chain moved out of the house. Um, but, you know, I, I got to deal with that whole situation. And, you know, that's why I come out here hiking. Sometimes you just got to get away from it. You know, I'm still, I'm still trying to get her off the bank accounts and get her off of the the cell phone plan now she did get her a, get off the the auto policy so that saves me some money there so i don't have to insure that kia sorrento anymore um so it's a work in progress that's for doggone sure all right so i just hiked through a really wet swampy area um if you're going to do this trail you're going to want some hikers you know i should have worn my hikers i I wasn't expecting because we have been had dry weather um, and I what I'm seeing also is uh, I'm seeing some bike tracks and I'm seeing some horse uh, horse footprints it, uh, so I don't really understand that because the red markers or the orange markers mean this is supposed to be just foot traffic only uh, but I guess people will bring uh, or ride their bikes to them but I good good luck to them I tell you what getting through that swampy area back there on a bicycle I mean, I get, the only way I know to do it would be to dismount and walk the bike through and then just get back on it. Um, so it's, uh, even 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 though it hasn't rained, it's still a, a wet, swampy hike in some places. Uh, but uh, it's still a good hike, though. I'm enjoying it. And uh, we'll, we'll, I'll hold off making anything. I just wanted to talk about, you know, the gear that you're going to want. I mean, I next time, if I ever come back, because I will probably hike this again because this it is beautiful although there's other trails that I that I like better than this one because of because of the wet swampy areas um because uh, you know I do like wearing the tennis shoes over the hikers uh, although it doesn't really matter they're both very very comfortable and uh but uh you know as, as far as gear goes uh, that's what you're going to need now I've seen no need for hiking pants I'm just in shorts today trail's nice and wide other than a hiking walking stick to to beat down the cobwebs um so so far so good here's another massive uh you know the head of the horseman's gonna come out the bottom of that tree <laughs> look at that thing oh my god i i'll bet that thing must be 500 years old or something 
I mean, this is uh, this is pretty cool. So I wanted to show this. Uh, I saw the bicycles over here on this road. So uh, they're really not supposed to be riding the Florida Trail. But look at the maintenance here. You can see the grass is cut down uh, on both sides. So they've uh, they've been through, you know, taking everything down. So uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I'll show you what I'm seeing. You know, isn't that beautiful? I'm going to actually take off this merino wool shirt. I'm starting to sweat because I'm, you know, I'm trying to move at about four miles an hour. Uh, which, if you're not in the swampy areas, you can maintain a pretty good pace on this trail. So let's uh, let's get the merino wool shirt off. Uh, even though, thank God, it's a 70, 75 degrees, and uh, but I, you know, I'm sure it's probably going to get cool on me on the way back, especially if the temperature's dropping down to 40 degrees tonight. Um, but this is kind of kind of what the trail looks like, and I mean, I tell you, they they've done a great job maintaining this. Um, and like I said, I you know, I'm just in shorts, so uh, with tennis shoes on. You know, if you wanted to just do it in tennis shoes, you could. I mean. Other than them swampy areas, it hasn't been too bad. Um, so let's just keep on going. So I wanted to get this on the video. Another reason you want a walking stick. See how this is all just torn up? This uh, this indicates to me there's wild pigs in the area, uh, or a boar, and uh, they will they will attack you. But look at that, they've got this all tore up. And uh, this definitely slowing down my pace on the trail here uh but uh so uh you know you, you're gonna want maybe some bear spray i don't have any today because you, you know i'm a complete idiot um but uh i should have brought some i just didn't didn't think i would see all of this look at that look at how, how that's tore up so uh there is some wildlife out here for sure uh that you might have to, to fend off um but let's just keep on going and then of course hiking through this uh this torn up uh, trail by the boars. It's uh, it's tough hiking, no doubt about it. So we're getting some up and down, and I'm wondering if we just knocked out another portion of the Florida Trail and have hooked up with where I hiked from the other side, the Ross Prairie Trailhead, coming towards Pruitt. Because this looks familiar, and especially being up on the ridge, but I didn't see, um, there were some structures, uh, and maybe they tore them down, who knows. But I'm telling you, I think we've been here before. Um, I do like the up and down, heart rate's up. Um, and plus, being up on these ridges, I mean, look at it, you're kind of looking down to the side. It just almost feels like you're on the Appalachian Trail in a certain way. Although, uh, if you watch my videos, <laughs> this is nothing compared to that. I mean, you know, at least once I got up on the ridge. But you can see, man, them wild boars really tear up the tear up the ground, don't they? So, um, I'm not sure if I've been here before, but it's looking familiar. If, if For sure, for sure we will have connected from the Ross Prairie coming from one side to uh, Pruitt coming from the other side. So, we just knocked out... A couple three four five miles of the Florida Trail and uh, and now we'll continue what what I'm gonna do is uh, hit the uh, Rainbow River next uh, hiking from there back to the uh, Pruitt of course we went down uh, 484 in a previous video so we've kind of gotten that portion of the Florida Trail <clears throat> so uh, but uh, you know it wasn't real well identified on 484 so I wasn't even sure I mean, other than looking at the sign that I was on the Florida Trail. So that's why I'm going to tack it from the other side. And uh, and then we'll knock out that portion of the Florida Trail. So we're getting further and further out. Of course, the big hike coming up um, probably in a couple of weeks. Because that takes a lot of preparation. Is we'll go back up into the Akala Forest. And hopefully this time I won't get all the wood ticks and the chiggers and the fleas. I'll, I'll be well prepared uh, with all of my hiking gear and uh, and we'll we'll hike through there because I think this time of the year the most of the insects should be in um, I'm more worried about uh, people I hear there's a there's a lot of dead bodies in the uh, Akala National Forest and I don't think they would have cost somebody hiking the Florida Trail but I don't know for sure 
I think that's a much more dangerous portion of the Florida Trail, but a much more beautiful too. You know, although this is great, you know, I'm enjoying it. Um, but uh, we'll just keep on going. It's uh, it's nice being up here on the ridge, but boy, these wild pigs have just torn the trail up all to, all to heck, you know. But uh, anyway, I when I see something that I know for sure that we have connected, I know this doggone spider web. Can you believe it? Holy moly. Um, but uh, when we connect with the um, with where I know that I stopped before coming from Pruitt, then we will have uh, we'll hike this portion of the Florida Trail, and uh, and we'll we'll continue in the other direction. So um, and uh, boy, I tell you, you're gonna want to tune into those uh, Kala hikes. Uh, who knows? You might <laughs> maybe some ranger will find my phone and say, "What what happened to that?" That uh, cyber security guy, uh, we, we can't find his body. <laughs> he disappeared in the Ocala National Forest. You never know. You never know. I, I, I make a joke about it, but I mean, at the same time, it is a serious situation. And I will be packing uh, on that hike for sure. You know, when I say packing bear spray, uh, you know, and I, I probably should get a concealed carry. Uh, being a veteran here in Florida, you can get a concealed carry. And because uh, uh, that... That, that portion of the trail is very dangerous. And of course, the insects and the bugs were, were very serious the last time I tried to do it. And, uh, but we'll get that eventually. All right, let's keep on going. You know, unless I'm mistaken, and I probably am, I think that's boar hair. <laughs> you know, so you can see, I mean, look, boy, they've really been digging along this trail. But, uh, I haven't seen anything that indicates I have connected up with where I came off the trail from uh, Pruitt. So we're just going to keep on going. But look over here. See, that's a swamp. Probably a gator in there. You know, and uh, I haven't seen any wildlife. Um, but uh, it's not the greatest hike in the world, but it ain't bad. I'm enjoying it.